Welcome to Miss Rhonda's Corner, a place where we gather to read books, sing songs, share rhymes, and most important of all, to use our imagination. Now Miss Rhonda's Corner happens to be at the Canmore Public Library. Right now I'm sitting in our big blue comfy library chair and behind me is our cozy colorful quilt. So I'd like to encourage each one of you to take a moment and find your own little corner, a place where you feel cozy and comfortable and safe, a place where you can use your imagination. Perhaps you want to bring a favorite blankie of your own or a stuffy with you. So take a few moments and get yourself settled. Terrific. We're going to begin Miss Rhonda's Corner with a little song and a great big stretch. That's going to help prepare both our minds and our bodies for listening. So our song goes like this. In our own little corners, in our own little chairs, we can be whatever we want to be. Through our books we can travel and imagine anywhere. And that world will open for us to see. Yes, that world will open for us to see. Great. Now, stretch your arms way up high to the sky. Let your imagination fly. Reach your arms way down low to your toes. Let your imagination go. Stretch your arms way out wide to the side. Let your imagination glide. Now take a deep breath in your nose. Hold it and let it out your mouth. Give it a little shake. Terrific. I think we're ready to get started. Today we're going to talk about friends. Now we've been in a very unusual time where we haven't been able to get together with as many of our friends as we're used to. So I thought maybe some stories and songs about friends would be meaningful. So we're going to start with a story called Why I Love My Friends. It's illustrated by Daniel Howard, Why I Love My Friends. Let's see the different reasons we love our friends. I love my friends because we share. They're sharing a stick, aren't they, those two puppies? I love my friends because they are always there for me. Look at those elephants entwining their trunks. I love my friends because we chase each other. I love my friends because we like the same things. All of those kitties love balls of yarn. I love my friends because we play hide and seek. Come out, come out wherever you are. Chameleons are especially good at hide and seek because they can change their colors to match their surroundings. I love my friends because we tell each other secrets. They're whispering, aren't they? I love my friends because they are silly. He's standing on his head. I love my friends because we go everywhere together. I love my friends because we hold hands. Those are sea otters holding hands. I love my friends because we share special moments like watching a shooting star together. I love my friends because we have parties. One day we'll have parties again. I love my friends because they help me. One is standing on the other to be high enough. I love my friends because we have sleepovers. Everyone loves their friends, especially me. What a wonderful story and wonderful illustrations of all those different animals. Now, we're going to sing a song 
about doing different things with our friends. The tune is Mary Had a Little Lamb. It's very simple. It goes like this. Will you be a friend of mine, friend of mine, friend of mine? Will you be a friend of mine all day long? What else are they going to do? Will you clap along with me, along with me, along with me? Will you clap along with me all day long? What else should we do? How about dance? Maybe you can dance at home. Will you dance along with me, along with me, along with me? Will you dance along with me all day long? Good job. There are so many things we can do with our friends, aren't there? Now, our next story is called Can We Play? And it's a pop-up book. And it's about this little fish having a hard time finding a friend to play with. Let's see whether he finds a friend. Here we go. He's swimming along. Can we play? Asks the little fish. <gasps> no. I am much too big, says Mr. Whale. Look how big he is. Okay. Swimming along. Can we play? Asks Little Fish. No. I am much too snappy, says Mr. Crab. Look at that. Hmm, he's not having much luck, is he? Can we play, asked Fish. No, I'm much too wiggly, says Mr. Octopus. <laughs> Can we play, asked Fish. No, I'm much too scary, says Mr. Shark. Look at Mr. Shark's teeth. He has a lot of them. Oh boy, little fish isn't having much luck. Maybe this time he'll have some good luck. Can we play? asked Fish. Yes, yes we can. Come and play, they all replied. Wow, they're going to jump out of the water with all the other fish together. Whew, he had a hard time finding someone to play with, but he persisted, didn't he? Wonderful. We're going to continue on with another story before we get our wiggles out. This is a very silly story. Miss Rhonda loves it. It's called My Friend Rabbit by Eric Roman and... Here's Rabbit, and here's his friend, Mouse, and their best friends. Perhaps you'll recognize yourself or your friend in this story. My friend Rabbit means well, but whatever he does and wherever he goes, trouble follows. Oh, look what happened to the toy airplane. Kind of zzzz crashed right into the tree. Oh, not to worry, Mouse, says Rabbit. I've got an idea. Hmm. <gasps> well, who do you think Rabbit is dragging in to help? He's dragging in his friend, Elephant. Oh, my goodness. How is Elephant going to help? Here's his friend, Rhinoceros. Whew. And his friend, Hippopotamus. Rabbit is carrying Hippopotamus. I think that might be enough friends, but I don't think Rabbit thinks so. <gasps> Deer, crocodile, bear, duck, and all her little ducklings coming to help. How are they going to help? The plane was just out of reach. Rabbit said, not to worry, Mouse. I've got an idea. Look at his idea. 
one animal on top of the other, way up high. And on the very top is Mouse. Let's see what Mouse is going to do. Oh boy. Oh, actually it's Squirrel holding Mouse. So Rabbit held Squirrel and Squirrel held Mouse. But then, uh-oh, something's going to happen. People are starting to get worried on the ground below. Shake, shake, shimmy. Kaboom! Everybody fell down. The animals were not happy. See if you can see their unhappy expressions. Mm -hmm. They didn't like falling down, did they? But Rabbit means well, and he is my friend. Well, they did get the plane down, didn't they? Even if whatever he does and wherever he goes, trouble follows. Thank you, Mouse. Rabbit, stop hugging me. Rabbit, I can't see. Look at Rabbit, he's covering Mouse's eyes. Uh-oh, what's going to happen? Zoom, crash into the tree again. Not to worry, Mouse. I've got an idea. Oh my goodness. What an exciting adventure Rabbit and Mouse have together. Now we're going to sing a lovely song about the way that we make friends. This is the way we make a friend, make a friend, make a friend. This is the way we make a friend each and every day. We say hello and how are you? How are you? How are you? We say hello and how are you each and every day. What else do we do? We talk a bit, then we listen. Talk a bit, then we listen. Talk a bit, then we listen each and every day. How else do we make friends? I think we share our toys and play together. And that'll happen sometime again in the future. We share our toys and play together, play together, play together. Share our toys and play together each and every day. Those are the ways we make a friend, make a friend, make a friend. Those are the ways we make a friend each and every day. Terrific. Our last story is a lovely story called You Hold Me Up by Monique Gray Smith, illustrated by Danielle Daniel. You hold me up. It's a lovely story of how we care for each other. Friends and family. You hold me up when you are kind to me. When you share with me When you learn from me. You hold me up when you play with me. When you laugh with me. When you sing with me. La 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 la. You hold me up when you comfort me. When you listen to me. When you respect me. Hmm, I'm missing a page. There we go. You hold me up. I hold you up. We hold each other up. And there's a little information on the back about the author and the illustrator. What a beautiful book. You hold me up. And that's what we're doing right now in our society, friends and family. We're holding each other up during this crazy time, aren't we? Thank you for your magical listening ears today. 
we're going to close with our closing song. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye from Miss Rhonda's Corner.